we are all just so sick and tired of you. What's going on YouTube? We are here with an updated video of how I'm able to get online on some Midnight Club 3 dub edition. And this should work for practically every single PlayStation 2 game for the PCSX2. So hopefully y'all are having a good day slash night, whatever time y'all are watching this, you know, this video, of course. So what I got here on the left of me, I got my main primary uh, PCSX2 emulator. And on the right side, this is my secondary one. This one right here, both of these, I can actually bypass the 611 net code that where you can't access online. I can bypass the negative 611. And the reason why for that, for the primary, this one has NP cap. This one, it's already installed my PC. I've already restarted my PC after it's installed and I got my uh, my PS2 address, the subnet mask, and the gateway address. I've already mentioned this on my other video. You know, it's the first video that I've done on how I was able to access online servers on Midnight Club. Yeah, this one's pretty much technically blocked off because y'all don't need to see the codes on that because these codes are technically different for each and every single PC for whatever you're using for PCSX. This is how I'm able to access other people's servers online. This one, on the other hand, this one's a little bit different. This one also bypasses the 611 net code but the problem with this one you cannot access other people's servers and the reason why for that is because this one does not have the uh the mp cap option along for it and the reason why i can't choose it well i technically i could choose it but then i would need these codes right here and i, I can't really do that so both of these this one if you want to bypass the 611 this is what you want to do right here for some reason this works without getting the 611 i'm not sure why so when doing this you will access online but the downside is you cannot join other people's servers when doing this type of option so it's practically meaningless you can get this without getting the 611 you can still access online you just can't join people's servers that's the only downside for this this one, on the other hand, yeah, this one, you can not only bypass the 611, but you could also join the majority of them. The ones that you can't join, they probably have a NAT type to where I guess they can't see you and you could probably see them, but they won't be able to join your servers and vice versa. I'm not sure why, but it's probably because their settings on their emulator is a little bit different than yours. And if it's not even just the emulator, it's probably because they're either on just a PS2 console or just something. I'm not sure why some people could have the same settings and it does not work because you can i've joined lobbies on midnight club full-on servers like full-on lobbies and it works pretty much just fine for me but for some reason for other people it just does not work i'm not sure why it's just i'm just gonna go off on a limb it's just a nap type and that's pretty much it this here is just the differences on how you can actually get to online without question this one i find kind of meaningless but you can still bypass it this one right here is just like how i did it on my other video and uh yeah so before i show you any further more on how this works i need to show you what you need to do on the playstation 2 side of things you need to actually go into the ps2 game on your emulator and configure your network settings so i'm gonna show you that right now just follow this step by step
so once after you've done that on the configurations for the playstation 2 then yeah both of these should literally work out at the end of the day but i highly recommend the one right here my primary i know i, I blocked off the codes right here but that's different for every single pc out there it's different from your ip address your pc specs like it, it's just different all in general so yeah that's pretty much it if i were to show you where to go to do that um give me one sec so in order to see your ip address and everything else for like these type of codes for you to access other people's servers online click the search button on the bottom left of your computer right here and just click on command prompt or just type it in it's already on my freaking tab right here so this is where you get to see your ip address for your pc and all that stuff and this is how i was able to put these codes onto my main emulator for me to access other people's servers online in midnight club so i'm blocking this shit off so none of y'all need to see all that because again this is my ip everyone's ip is going to be different for each and every single pc like i said a couple times so yeah put those codes in for your ps2 address your subnet mask and your gateway address however the ps2 address it's a little bit different so i think i'm gonna just unblock that just i don't think there's anything you know punishing for me to unblock that so yeah you would want to put this as your ps2 address this is mine right here so i feel like the subnet and the gateway that is from your command prompt but the ps2 address it's practically the same i think this one right here y'all i think everyone should put this onto their emulator and see if that really works out for y'all because this works out for me this could be super different for y'all but this is what works out for me i am able to join a lot of other different servers on midnight club but some people can't join me and i can't join some other people's servers it's probably because of that type or their setting are a little bit different than mine you know what i mean so it could be different for everybody but this is what i put so make sure that you have your ip address your subnet gateway mask and all that stuff just put that into your emulator as well as the ps2 address and yeah that's pretty much it so like i said this is my main one this is how i'm able to access other people's service and access online this is my secondary one i'm still able to access online on the secondary emulator but i cannot join people's service because this one does not have the codes it does not have the subnet nor the gateway or the ps2 address I, that's the only downside for this but either way both of these will bypass the negative 611 for me personally if it works out for me i would most certainly hope it would work out for each and every single one of y'all as well so this is it for me this is what i got and to top it all off for y'all this is where i get to see people playing online on midnight club right here like you see the name right here boom there's already somebody on it right now who would that be so there's two people i've already tried joining both of these like earlier today and for some reason i can't even with my main emulator i don't know if it's nat type or they have different settings than i do and they're both american like i'm an american server as well so yeah i'm not really sure what the deal is with that but i'm able to join other lobbies that are like full-on lobbies like they're from brazil or france whatever um region is out there but yeah i can join some servers out there for my main emulator and this is where you practically get to see all the games that are online on this web page right here so it's pretty much a playstation 2 online thing i will put it down in the description as well as this spreadsheet as well it practically just shows you every single game you could pretty much play online if you really wanted to of course so yeah there's a whole lot of games out there that is able to access it and uh yeah and if you're trying to get NP cap, you have to uh, restart your PC. Like I said previous times, restart your PC after it's installed. Just make sure of that. I think this is the latest one right here. I'm not sure if you want to do the zip or the EXE. I think both of those will do just fine because that's what I got on my computer. So yeah, that's pretty much it, y'all. So hopefully y'all enjoyed this video, of course. And if so, hit the like button, subscribe. If you are brand new to the channel, turn on the bell for notifications for all that beautiful, wonderful, glorious ass shit. Um, this this is just pretty much an updated video on how I was able to bypass the negative 611 if people are having trouble getting into online specifically not, not even just joining servers just getting into online but like I said both of those emulators that I've shown they will bypass 611 
at least for me it does so hopefully it does for y'all hopefully this video works out for each and every single one of y'all and uh yeah i will see y'all on the next video bro y'all take it easy